the world will know the name. Yo, what the heck? If you're a movie nerd, then you're in luck because you're watching Screen Collider, like right now. Alright, what's up guys? So welcome back to another movie review today. Um so today's review as you guys can see here on my board is gonna be White Boy Rick. So this is not really like an action packed, it's more like based on a true story, but it's not like really a serious story. It's more like one of those movies that they made kind of like into a thriller, you know? So I've heard some good things about it. I haven't seen it yet, so I'm going to watch it today. I'm going to review it for you guys and let you guys know how it is. And I know you guys are probably always wondering, you know, why am I always so crooked? Like my head's kind of tilted back a little bit. Well, here's the kick. My old tripod that I've been using like since I started YouTube officially had broken. So it's taken me a while to find a really good one. So I had to order a new one, a new tripod, and it has like a remote lifter turner thing on it. So it's pretty cool. It's like a Bluetooth remote switch or something tripod. So that should be, I had to get that ordered to me personally. So I should have that in the next couple of days, but yeah. White Boy Rick, and I'm going to review that for you guys today. So I will be back after the, I'm done the movie in a couple of hours. Peace out. All right, guys. So I'm back. I got the movie review of White Boy Rick, and let's get right into it. Okay. So it was, pre it was pretty interesting, and there's a reason. So basically... I think this, the story mainly followed, it was about a young boy, Ricky Worshi Jr., who was basically, he was like a freshman in high school, but it's like all the, it's like one day he got offered, like, to work with these FBI F agents, like, he got asked to work with the FBI on, like, some drug operation or something like that, so basically... He was living really poorly with his dad and his sister. The mom had left, and they were just living in a very poor, slummy area. So knowing that he had an opportunity to make it big, these guys told him that if you help us, you can get a very big cut off of it, which he did. Well, not really. But he started basically hustling for some street gang, and basically the story follows that he got caught in the crosshairs of the mob and the FBI. So he was basically up against the FBI, the, the mob, and he was just basically hustling, dr hustling drugs, like selling drugs, basically. And basically, and basically, these guys never meant what they said about, you know, we'll get you a big cut. They were just asking someone to help. Yeah, so basically, it is a crime thriller, but it's based off a true story. Like, yeah, so he basically just gets caught in, caught between the mob and the FBI, selling drugs, and basically making big money, only to find out that he's being chased. So it definitely is a crime thriller. I mean, I'm going to rate it 9 out of 10. And I mean, you know what's funny? I was actually just watching a news article. I found out that Ricky Worshi Jr., I mean, he was arrested in 1987. This kid just got out. This guy just got out in 20, 2017, meaning he served nearly 30 years. And I think the whole moral of the movie just goes to show that we need to, like, always pick and choose what we do in life. Because sometimes there isn't always a second chance. So, yeah. Very good movie. Highly recommended. But one thing, I'm going to I'm gonna give it an, an 8 out of 10 today, actually. There was only a reason for that. See, I don't 
don't know how I feel about somebody making a movie about something that somebody did to disclose it to the whole world. Like, even at the beginning of the trailer, I watched the trailer and it said, the world will know his name and the truth. Like, he even said that he had he did a podcast saying that he made a mistake, he believed these people, and he just wanted to forget about it. So I don't really know how I feel about the fact knowing that somebody is trying to forget about it and now they're making a movie about the mistake he did so the whole world can see him. Like, I don't, like, I mean, I definitely wouldn't, I definitely wouldn't want that. Like, yeah. So very good movie overall, though. Highly recommended. I mean, the data to 10 part isn't for my sake. It's for this guy's sake. But yeah, very good movie. Highly recommend it. Definitely check it out. And yeah, I'll see you guys in tomorrow night's video, which is going to be The New Mutants. So stay tuned for that. Peace out. Oh yeah, one more thing. Make sure to like, subscribe, and share this with your friends. Peace out.